Paparazzi Henry for PopTV.com. Got a variety. Cheryl Burke celebrating her birthday. Happy birthday, Cheryl. Also the lovely Chelsea Hightower and Mark Ballas. Jamie Foxx. Corey Feldman had a very interesting Osama Bin Laden story. Plus Elliot Mintz with the lovely attorney Diana. And the very talented super producer Jeanette Longoria and several others. Check it out. Language. I, have I don't even speak that language she's talking about. Get out of here with that damn strange rover. Who? No, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna put the pressure on him like that. Rose, Rose is a, a beyond great player by herself. He don't even play nothing like Mike. He's a little dude. What about Osama bin Laden? You think it was about time they got him? I don't think Osama gone. He, uh, Osama's putting out a mixtape this summer. Osama bin Laden, make sure y'all check for it. What the hell is going on right here? Y'all trying to take pictures for child support. I ain't following that shit. Yep, they're going to put out a lot of them. I think I'm, hey, look, if Osama, I just need to prove. I just need a little bit. I just want to see. They just put out a picture. Yeah, just a little bit of rain, a little bit of something. Show the Osama is really, because I'm nervous right now. I see a couple girls in the club. They look weird. They look like they might be terrorists. A couple girls in the club look good. They didn't ask for drinks. That's terrorism. I know it. Stand up. All right. Hello. Yeah. Hello, Henry. <laughs> yeah, how you feeling tonight? I'm yes. feeling good, you know. <laughs> yes. We made it through. That's right. Very yeah. excited. We both actually, we both thought we were going home. We we're like, we were both so scared. Well, you. Uh, no, we were literally we were joking about it with everyone that day, with everyone today. We were like, all right, guys. Well, it's been a good season. Oh. <laughs> we're gonna be going off to Jimmy Kimmel tonight. So. <laughs> We'll see you guys, you know, I'll be back for pro dances next week. No, we're, we're kidding, of course, but of course there was there was some seriousness about it. So we were both very, very, very happy to still be here. And, uh, yes. yeah. <laughs> you had a lot of fans, you know? Yes, thank you to the fans. Yeah, they're amazing. All of Romeo's fans, all my fans. Yes. And, uh, yeah. yeah, love them. Do you have, the, do you have like, a favorite dance? Favorite dance? Yeah. Rumba? Of this season? Uh huh. Or just of all time? Of all time. I like, my that. favorite dance to do is the rumba. It's, it's sexy and emotional. Okay, I'm going to get her in to eat because okay. she's going to start You're hungry. hungry. So, yes. We got to eat. <laughs> I love the saying talk all night, bye. Henry. All right, bye. Guys. My family's waiting on All right. <laughs> How are you? Yeah. All right, celebrating tonight. Yeah, just gonna get a little dinner and then go home and chill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. How did your show go last night? It was really good, actually. It was one of the best ones of the residency so far. Yes. So it was a good night, all in all. That's cool. How are you doing? All right. Good, buddy. Yeah. So if you could like um, collaborate with any rocker, with any guy, who would, you, who would it be? Uh, probably John Mayer. Oh, there you go. I'm a big John Mayer fan. I love That's his guitar Mark? playing. Yes. So. You know, I'd love to write with him or get to uh -huh. jam with him at some point. That'd be dope. Let's write and maybe Peter. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah, I got to do that last week on the show. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take it easy. Take him, Hog. Hey, Robert. Hi, how are you doing, Mr. Shapiro? I'm doing excellent. How are you? <laughs> so, uh... See, I'm right with you and I'm famous. <laughs> I was just going to ask, I mean, are you a big Dodger fan at all? Yeah, I like baseball, but yeah. my but my partner, Mr. Christensen, uh, knows more about it than I do. Oh, do you? So I was thinking maybe Le Legal Zoom or Mr. Christensen could have some kind of advice for uh, for the Dodgers organization right now and all the things that are happening with you know. Hit home runs. Hit home runs. Just keep hitting home runs. That's that's a good one. <laughs> Does LegalZoom have a section where celebrities can log online and do their own kind of representation through LegalZoom? No, we don't, we don't do criminal cases, but we do what? do wills, we do trusts, we do powers <laughs> of attorney, we do corporations, we do LLCs, LegalZoom.com. Everything business, but now this is an untapped market. Nobody's done this yet, Mr. Shapiro. 
You know what? I think uh, it might be a good idea for I, you guys I, to start one. Okay. Hey, thanks so much. You're you have a great Robert. night, sir. Robert, yeah. very quickly, uh, sir, what do you yeah. think of the situation right now, if it's okay, by your permission about the garden about Lindsay Lohan? Uh, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Have a good night, sir. Have a good night, sir. Good night. Oh, boy. <laughs> so I want to congratulate you on the, uh, the award you received in San Francisco this week. Uh, the San Francisco Film Festival, right? They, they honored you this week, did they not? What uh, kind of award this week? I read. Yeah. Uh, congratulations on that, sir. I know. You have to represent your body of work. So, I have a quick question. I mean, in regards to Catherine Bigelow, she's trying to direct this film on Osama bin Laden, and now, now there's all this, uh, you know, all this, the, the stuff that's happened this week. There's going to be some rewrites and stuff, or, or stuff like that. But you're the man, really, that should be directing this I, kind I of stuff. I don't know anything about it. Really. No, well, I mean, you're the guy that should be. I don't doing follow this the story. news like that. Oh, you don't at all. No. What do you think about the the killing of Osama? Yeah. Make for a great hey, film, Cheryl. huh? Hi. Uh -huh. Hey, Cheryl Burke. Cheryl, hey, there's the lovely Cheryl. Thanks, hey, Cheryl. So, <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. you in the politics, Cheryl? Okay. I'm sticking with all of us here. <laughs> so. <laughs> I take Cheryl. <laughs> Good, thank you very much. Who are you rooting for now? Who am I? Everyone's pretty good. Kirstie's my fave. Oh, yeah. She is rocking. I just thought it might be kind of an interesting little way to segue to go with that. Anyway, I appreciate you coming to the well, tonight's my birthday, so I'm here with my friend, and we're having dinner together. At 21 tonight, huh? Yes, 19. 19. Awesome. What is your birthday wish? Really, 19? No. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> Cheryl, Oliver Stone just thanked you for taking the attention off of him. So when I just threw it back to him, he said, thank you, Cheryl. He really, truly did. Really? Yeah. Oh. I don't think he wanted well. to stop. Nice. So I'm bummed that you and Chris Jericho aren't on anymore. I mean, Chris, he had some, I mean, from wrestling to dancing, you kind of gave him good, Thank good you. honors. Yeah. Well with the guy. I was he looked surprised. light on his toes. He is. Hey, I have a question. So, did you have you heard of Harvey's, um, he put a single out about a month or two ago. He did um, a, a rendition of, I am. Well, I'm not, I represent him, oh. but I'm not UTMZ. So he did a single of My Way, and he sang it, he recorded it, and put out a single. Now I'm thinking, now that you have some off time, he might need some dance lessons to go with his <laughs> new album. Harvey on his toes as well. You make Chris Jericho look so well. How do you yeah. feel about making Harvey look I'm expensive. Good night, Oliver. Do you think you might? Do you think, do you think you might want to? I charge too much. Do you think uh, you might want to dance him with the stars again? Of course. Do, you, do, do what? Excuse <laughs> me. Do you might want to dance him with the I, stars? I don't know. Depends on who my partner is. Who would you? Who do you want as a partner next time? You. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he seems to be the most favorite right? top rocker with all the dancers. Yeah, he's been around since I, I first came here. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I can remember him yeah. back yeah. in the day. Yes. <laughs> so, Cheryl, when can we schedule those dance lessons for Harvey? Tell Harvey to give me a call. Really? Does he have your number? <laughs> no. Oh. How can we get his people in touch with your people? <laughs> I uh, have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> It's not that hard in Hollywood. No, it's not that hard. No, we, yeah. we can make I'm that sure happen. Meet us here next happen. week. Yeah. <laughs> so we have uh, now we have American Idol merging with Dancing with the Stars, Mark and Pia. Yeah, we got to merge you with an American Idol personality now. Like him. I don't know. I really don't pay attention to American Idol. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But uh, <laughs> well, are there any any guys that you like, Cheryl? Any guys that I like? Yes. Plenty of guys. I like ice. Yeah, I do like ice. Yes. I mean, nobody in particular. No, I don't know. Um, let me think about that one. There's so many. <laughs> There's so many. There are so many. Good night, guys. Okay, Thank you. Good night, Cheryl. Happy to have a great deal, Cheryl. What's up, Felice? How's it going? Hi. Hi. Fabulous outfit. You? Nice. you always got your fashion up. You always got your fashion up. Thanks. All right. 
President Obama killing Osama, do you think that's going to help clean your spot for the 2012 election? I, I don't know. I have no idea. No. I'm like, I don't know. You should know who that is, though. He's a great photographer. He had an opening tonight. Really? I'm like, put your camera on him. He's good. Yeah, don't worry about you. Yeah. Yeah, I love your boots. Hey. From, head, from head to toe, yeah. Need some pictures taken. <laughs> This is Attorney Diana, who uh, I now refer to by her real name. Yes. Diana Fitzgerald. <laughs> Diana Fitzgerald. She is pure Irish. Oh, really? Is that true? Indeed. It's true. And we just had a fabulous meal at uh, uh, the Constrictor. Yeah. And, and Henry, it's great to see you. Have you it's been, been a long time. Thank you, Diana. So tell me, have you been to Ireland? Oh yes, many times. Many times. What did you tell us about it? I lived in London actually, and I was in Ireland many times as a child. And then in my twenties, um, I actually was there probably like three or four times. And that was last year. Oh, could have been. You know, one day maybe you should take Elliot to Ireland. I think it'd be nice. I've been to Ireland. I was in Ireland with Bob Dylan uh, on tour, and I loved it. We were in Dublin, and we went bicycle riding, and went to pubs, and what a gorgeous, gorgeous country it is, Henry. I mean, are, nothing like South Africa. There's, no, but in Ireland, there are so many greens, like, you've never seen more shades of green in really? Ireland. Beautiful. It, just, all the it rain. is. Magnificent, huh? Yes. Well, you're, you're magnificent too. Let me oh. you. Uh, Attorney Diana is truly magnificent. She is not only my lawyer, but she is my dearest friend, and uh, and I love her and I trust her. We were just talking about how the best of friends we are, and like how we're so grateful for each other. Uh, Kiss me. Oh yes. yes. Very nice. Now, how many people kiss their lawyers? I, I'm telling you, I'm not many. How many people kissed their lawyers goodbye? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that was not a goodbye kiss. No, 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 no. Never goodbye. Never. By the way, Henry was right. once involved in a law case, and he was defended by Gloria Ulrich. That's right. Okay. Yes. Come on. for you. Exactly. She's a very, very nice lady. Very nice lady. Very. Brilliant lawyer. Absolutely. Gosh, the world needs more. There brilliant. needs to be another kind of... Not Gloria Allred, but somebody who's kind of more, what? a little bit more than Gloria Allred, like more kind of taking on women's needs and like, yeah. yes, I think are, are there needs to be something. Are you suggesting a more contemporary version of Gloria? Indeed. Ah, but what about her daughter? Her daughter, she has a good job. No. I don't think she has it. Okay. So I'm just saying, you know, well, I, I, there I'm, might be somebody on the um, fast track to be taking on that immediate need. Maybe, maybe not. We'll okay. see. Well, it was wonderful seeing you. Indeed. And, oh, yeah. and, and just by way of an addendum, I'm sure that uh, Attorney Diana would agree that there's plenty of room in the world for both Diana Fitzgerald and Gloria already. Exactly. I'm sure no, that's I, what you... I wasn't saying exactly. taking on her just role. I was to saying clarify it. <laughs> just somebody who is yes. being a little bit more contemporary, okay. is I would say. So nice, <laughs> so nice to see you. <laughs> Bye, Henry. Thanks, Diana. Good night. Right. And this is Diana's gift to Elliot, this beautiful complex. Gorgeous. Yes, absolutely. Gorgeous cufflinks from a gorgeous lady. Oh, as a birth a belated birthday present. Yes. Thank you. My honor. <laughs> My privilege. Thank you. Hey Jamie, what do you think about Osama bin Laden getting shot? Thank you. You think it was about time, Jamie? Jamie, did you watch the Miami Heat game today? against the Celtics? <laughs> Thank you. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Jamie, you think the Heat are going to take it off? What's up, Corey?
Getting two shots. Um, did you hear that it was right, me that killed him? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> obviously you didn't hear about. Obviously you didn't hear about my new movie. What, what's your new movie? Operation Belvis Bash. We happen to be premiering it. Did you hear the story? You didn't hear the story. No, it's a crazy yeah, story. I, I heard it. Did you hear the story? Yeah. Tell me. Right. Tell me. All right. So I'll tell you the story. I was doing a three-day uh, special screening event of this new movie, Operation Belvis Bash, which I executive produced and am in. And it's about a covert CIA operation in Afghanistan, where at the end of the movie, my character, who's in like deep undercover, uh, ends up ordering the death of Osama bin Laden. And they kill him. And 20 minutes after we walk out of the Q&A, I swear to God, after the third night, all of a sudden I start getting texts from fans who I met along the way who are like, Hey, uh, just so you know, you're an American hero because you actually did kill Osama bin Laden. Oh, man. And I was like, come on, no, not really. And then I turn on the radio. No, I turn on the radio, and they're like, yes, in one hour, Obama is going to give a speech. Blah blah. I was like, you got to be kidding me. So it was the craziest, <laughs> craziest luck in the world. I've never seen anything like that. So I need to get a speech from you, though. So what like, what have your speech go? Oh, <laughs> well, you have to, you have to see the movie for that. I can't give that away. It'll be out this summer, though. Operation Belvis Bash. It's really funny. Check it out. Check it out. Out. So you think they did the right thing? Or? Uh, no, I don't think they did the right thing by not showing us the uh, the photos and the video. I think that um, we need to see the deal. Yeah. Yeah. Like, where were you? Where we need the goods. We need the goods. I, where was I when I heard? I, I'm not joking. I was walking out of the theater. It, it's called the Alamo Draft House Cinemas, and I was walking out of the theater in Houston, Texas, after finishing the Q and A for our, our screening. And I start getting texts from fans saying that the movie was real because it was exactly like the movie. It was very crazy. How was that for you? Is that, is that like a, do you believe in predestiny or, or I don't know. All I know is that I was in New York on September 11th and that happened like coincidentally that, you know, the day that he was murdered, I, I happened to be uh, premiering a movie where I do a character that kills him. So I, I don't know. It's, it's pretty Carmel, crazy. It's right? mind boggling. It's mind boggling. Yeah, well, it, it is kind of poetic justice, I guess. Yeah. I was terrified that day. I mean, being stuck in New York, yeah. you know, that was that was pretty scary. So, uh, yes, poetic justice. Hopefully, we can all rest easily or easier, but I think that we really do need to see the goods. Yeah. Right? Yeah. America? Yeah. Don't we need to see the goods? See the world, not just America. We all want to see it. So, come on, pass up. Let's go. Where is it? Bring it on. You always have a cool, different look. Thanks. I appreciate that. Somebody will talk shit about it tomorrow, but for now, thank you. All right. All right. Bye, guys. Didn't find the other one. Nice. You know what that means, right? Go. eBay. What up? How are you this evening? Hello, lovely Jeanette. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. I got your friend Elliot a little while ago. Oh, fabulous. He's an amazing man. Yes, yes. And uh, what are you up to, Jeanette? Well, finally, I'm doing Amapola, a uh, film production uh, with Televisa. We're partners now, and we're going to do it in English, and it's going to be fantastic. We're getting the cast together, the members together, and I told you you'd be the first one to know about it. Oh, thank you. That sounds very exciting. Right? Yes, it is, and it will be. What can we expect? A lot of work. <laughs> a lot of work. <laughs> yes. something you are good at. I believe so. Yes. It's always so nice to see you, you here. Like, like oh, well, thank you. Very cool. Yes. Like, very nice. Have thank a wonderful you. evening, Jeanette. You too. It's always nice to see you, Henry. Thank you. Thank you.